Hi, Grand here. Hi, this is Elgrim. And we're back with the uh, late century Viking sword from Medieval Shop and the Musashi Katana. And we had some suggestions about cutting with the tip on the actual katana and cutting with the uh, tip on this. And we're considering the tip as the first third section. So everybody says, we're not talking about the very point of the sword. No, we're not talking about cutting with just the tip because everybody would know that it only goes so deep. We're talking about cutting through gambesons. We're talking about like a cast blow just using this portion of the sword. Uh, of course, we're not going to be doing uh, materials like this, but this gives you an idea what kind of cut this can produce with the cast blow. That's yep. not stepping, that's not using the body to generate energy, that's just using the sword being cast out and letting it do what it wants to do. That's right. So now we're going to try using the katana in a similar manner with the front portion of the blade. We're yep. going to cut some tougher gambits today with fresh bottles, because that's what we're going to see. Yes, fresh bottles. And uh, I even have some extreme test design for this from Quantum Way Expert. Uh, I, I'm, I I'm say curious extreme. to see what I those mean, are. I think they're extreme. You heard right. what I told you okay. I would try. All right. We're, we're going to see. One against that one. We're going to see. We're going to see how. It, we're gonna I know that's my sword too, but uh, yeah. But hey, yeah. you know what? We're going to we're going to see what yeah. you got set up, Brandon. We're going to see how he, these two. He's kind of like got a wager going. Me thinking that this one may do exactly the same, and I was like, that would be fantastic because then you have the ability of the slicing and that tip cutting. But I just think that they both are two different features to two different swords. So we'll try that out. We'll see how it works. Uh, and see what what we can what we can pull off today. Yeah, it's. Let's do it, man. Yep. We're here with our Gambison, our water jug analog, and this one's not ruptured or damaged in any way. We have our Musashi Katana, and we're going to start off with a tip shot from the Katana, using about this portion of the blade to clip across the tip like the Viking sword and see how this fares in a similar situation. So I'm going to step back, and I'm going to, I'm going to lay into this and see what I can do. Caught it with the tip, Brand. Well, we're gonna want to take a good look at this one. Might try one more. One more? Yeah. Try All to right, y'all. More solid. Yo, yo, yo. All right, I'll do it. I got this one. All right, here we go. Oh, this time I got close. Yes, I made impact. Oh, you actually cut through? Not, not bad at all. Not bad at all. It's not very deep, but you made it through the tip. So sure it is did. possible to use the tip to cut it. But I don't think I got that much of him, to be nah. honest with you. Although it injured him well enough that I think I would have That's a better through advantage. That's a lot of layers of gambeson. Well, this is a new gambeson that we put together. Right. And it's a little thicker and got a little more bounce. So actually, I'm pretty impressed. Yeah, that was pretty nice. Decent. Not bad at all. All right, we're back with the uh, late century Viking sword from Medieval Shop, and I've got a tougher gambeson, uh, fresh layers here, and we've got a fresh bottle. Since so we just uh, did some other tests, we're going to come back here and uh, try again, see what happens with a uh, shot that's been going through our uh, cast blow, where we actually cut with the front portion of the sword. I'm impacting somewhere around here and let the sword cut. Let's go ahead and try that out, see how it works. I heard that. That was nasty. Woo! Oh, it went all the way in. Oh, yeah, I can see that. That's horrible. It's kind of like the cloth plugs the hole for a second. Kind of like a bullet going through cloth and dragging the cloth into the wound. Yes, I can pick my whole hand in here, so that's a pretty nice cut. Looks like it started here and then just went on in. Very nice. How awesome is that? Let's see where our coat looks like. And see how far it's compressed in? That's telling me we're getting a much deeper wound and how wide it is. That's at least three inches wide. And we made it through all our layers of gamison. That is so insane. That's way worse than the katana. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm disemboweled. Nicely done. All right, so for the cast blow using this portion of the blade, 
to actually strike with or cut with is doing the best on gambeson. And it feels like it has extreme power to uh, compress and cut. As you all know, this barrel is extremely hard to thrust through. It's a plastic barrel with tested spears on and so on. Uh, I'm going to try cutting it with well, that same style technique using the cast blow and seeing if I can. And I don't know if we've ever. And I don't know if we've ever mentioned this about that barrel, but a lot of SCA guys build their uh, armors out yes, of that. Yes, they do, and they feel like it's equivalent to hardened leather. So I mean, or extremely hardened leather or material like that. Uh, it's supposed to be extremely difficult to go through, so let's, I mean, we've tested it in lots of videos, let's see what we can do. Whoa! Might have snagged there a hair. I think you did, I saw that. But did we cut it? Yes. You sure did, we saw daylight. Wow, nice. I am impressed with that same style of shot. Let's try one more. Oh! Ah, we did it again, all the way through. Very nice. I have never thought about cutting a barrel, because I know you can't do it if you just fill it up with water and try cutting it this thick. But that is impressive. I don't think the Katana could pull that off. You could try it. Let's, all right, all right, I'm up for that challenge. Let's do that. With the tip? Just the tip. Yeah, well, not just the tip, a good third of the portion of the blade. <laughs> That's what she said, Thrand. Ha <laughs> ha. I've accepted Thrand's challenge with the uh, Musashi Katana. I'm going to try that same tip shot on this plastic drum, which we already know is very difficult to cut, and I'm going to see how well the Katana fares on the same test. Ooh. Woo! That sounded vicious. Did it cut? Oh, yeah, it sure did, but not as deep. Did it even go through? Nope, it did not. I mean, we got a good it's gash surface. in it. It's all surface. Well, I mean, if you like, I'll step back and try and get a, another nice one in. But You can, if you want. That's right. I think it's just all surface. Is what it all right. Is. So? Because it's actually trying to slice the barrel with my kind of... Uh, impacts it. A, it impacts so hard that it did kind of like just allows the blade to be forced into the barrel and start slicing. I think you're absolutely right. We're going to we're gonna give this... We're going to give the Katana one more shot, and I'm really going to give it everything i got. I'm going to step into this one. I'm hitting it good, but I'm just gashing it. It sounds like it's just bouncing. Yeah, yeah I'm I getting a lot of bounce. That. Yeah, it doesn't appear that any of these actually went through. The only place it might have is here, and I'm not feeling it. No, it, it didn't it go through. It was unable to cut through due to the curvature, and it's trying to slice through. This sword is cutting, but it's almost coming in in a, in a method where uh, if you really look at it, it's, it's got all the force in a small area and then just ripping in the room and slicing it. Yes. Well, this one, it's hitting and it's got the elegant curve, so it's trying to slice and collide on the plastic. Mm -hmm. So it's not able to cut through that material. And we saw that in, in, not, in not these that really good... Not that much material, that's the secret. Yeah, I mean, you, yeah. you nailed it, I'm telling you. Yeah. Look at the difference on these. This is so crazy. Yeah, we could probably... You almost cut it to ribbons. Yeah, I did just two cuts, but this gives you an idea of what it, it's... Did. I'm just trying to separate it here. But this plastic's so tough that it doesn't yeah, there you go. want to do that. I was trying to do it so you can actually see it. <laughs> there you go, so you can see the cuts. There. Man, it's tough. Yeah, I mean, it's tough you can see how it. thick this is, too. Look how thick it is, the plastic. Well, that's the kind of cut I got. It's crazy how thick that is. Right. So it's the this sword cutting with the first uh, third section of the blade is cutting much deeper than the, than the curvature. It's cutting way deeper than the curvature. Is what we got here. Well, we saw the performance of the katana on the actual uh, big plastic barrel we tested in many videos. So I don't think it's possible that it could do something like I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of cutting a steel plate like we did in another video, a 20 gauge steel, the hard way, from the center out. Now I don't know how this is going to perform, but I'm assuming it's going to work something like the bottle and we might get that same type of cut through steel. If I can do that on 20 gauge steel, I'll be highly impressed by the Viking uh, long or the Viking uh, Langens farm. And that's exactly what we got. We got a cut clean through the steel from the center out. That was insane. And that's with the cast blow. Now, when I say that would happen on 
heavy gauge armor, late century plate. No, a lot of it was tempered, a lot of it was very, very thick. But as a 20 gauge material on those cutting pieces, very impressive. And I could tell by marks on my actual edge that we had probably something like this all the way through it, because it does do a little edge damage as we touched up if you cut the steel like that. I mean, it's going to fold the edge a little, which I can see the edges like fold and have some marking for them. It went in at least that deep, so this was a good way of telling how deep it's going as doing the style of cut. Of course, it's a little longer in length, but it's a beautiful cut, and it's clean from the center out. I don't think you could do that with a katana or a curved sword. I could be wrong, but I really don't think it will do it. I think it will glide along the surface, and that's why we're not even worried about the katana, because it did the same thing on the bottom. It wasn't able to cut through the actual uh, large uh, barrel made of plastic. So, Algrim, what did you think about the testing today? Oh, I thought it was exciting. I had a lot of fun. Uh, I, was, I was actually uh, very surprised by how well the Viking sword performed uh, and how I hate to say how poorly the katana performed because it, it didn't really perform, it didn't perform poorly. poorly. It's a it just didn't do edge. well. Yes. Exactly, it didn't do well for what it was designed to do. Once we started getting to uh, harder uh, surfaces, it wasn't designed to cut through materials in that same manner. It's no. not a straight edge. Not at all. Uh, it's a curvature, so it's designed to glide and cut. So if you don't have a large amount of the blade slicing, provide meaning you have to be closer in or providing a slicing motion with it or allowing it to slice, having enough of the blade used it's not going to cut as deep. It's right. relying totally on its edge to cut through. Not that it doesn't have mass too and weight. Uh, that's also the acceleration sure. part of what causes the edge to cut, but it also is designed to glide across the... Uh, well, I find the tip glide cuts... Glide across the material. So that causes nice cuts through the... The, the gambeson. Cloth. Yeah, it's, it even catches the uh, the medium beneath it. But I don't think they're as deep as what's no. apparent. Like if you cut with the one, uh, first section of this, about a third of it or so, not more than a third of it, it seems like you're hitting with somewhere in this area it goes into the target and like we had at the last test we had like that much through it as it came out right so i think what's going on is we're compressing it much more heavily and getting a deeper uh incision into the bottle where it's coming in before it comes out that's right right so, and it's compressing so far how we're not sure how deep that would be on a body because it's actually hunkering the guy in true with the impact but the, well, the katana seems to be more of a slice where it glides along on a material cuts into the bottle, so we're getting cuts that aren't very deep. And also, yeah. because we're using a smaller portion, it doesn't have enough time to keep gliding and using that curvature with the to tip. With the full pressure. blade, two-handed, as we saw when it did, it was a pretty nice cut. It was pretty yeah. deep and a long cut. That's right, so very, very true. I very think true. that was the idea, was cutting through more fibrous material with the edge slicing, right. such as like, it was a cloth, but probably not super heavy gangs. I, I, I think you have a good point there, and I think the Viking sword proves to be superior once you start getting into... I think it's more of a reach. It's, uh, it's so you can got your point, but you also can cut with that portion the way the blade's designed and still cut the guy at a distance. Still, yeah, still... You don't have to be in close to cut him, so you're using a shield. Right. You can reach out and slice the guy and possibly Well, that's, cut that's what I was saying about yeah, the katana. When you're tip yeah. cutting with the katana, you're losing out on the, what makes the katana powerful, and that is the curve, and be able to lay that pressure there and continue that pressure Correct. You're across losing. time. And you're losing that by just using that, that portion of the katana Well, this blade. makes up for it with the extreme speed and force with the cast blow. To I fully agree. Rip through, pretty much. It's just punching clean all through and cutting. Yep. You can tell right here, that's what I thought it was good. That's why well, I went through our barrel. I, I tell you what, I, I really like doing this video today. I had a lot of fun, uh, and I hope you all had fun too. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to like us. Uh, uh, go ahead and comment down in the comments thread for us, and uh, we love your criticisms, uh, uh, your witticisms. Uh, share with us. We enjoy that. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel. That's YouTube channel, Thane Thrand. Um, and uh, we have episodes coming out for you regularly so stay tuned for those i know we've been a little slow getting them out right Grant? some scheduling conflicts kind of kept us out of the loop for a while there yes so but, we've been having a lot of uh stuff that occupies us in our regular everyday lives sure yeah been. but that that that'll settle down the dust will settle and we'll we'll be cranking them out like we used to uh, also, be sure to find us on Facebook at Brandon Elgrimer's Well of Remembrance. Uh, that's our like page on Facebook. Uh, you can also join our closed group. That's the uh, Thane Thrand YouTube Boat Crew, where you can get exclusive content. That's exclusive video posts, uh, clips from the set, uh, still photos from the set, uh, things nobody else sees. Uh, also, you can talk one-on-one -on -one with Thrand and myself and other members of the crew on all things anachronistic and living history. Uh, also, uh, help improve our content. You can donate to us at www.patreon.com slash Thrand. And uh, we have our PayPal account as well. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, thread at uh, yahoo.com. That is the PayPal ID, but you can also send us an email. Let us know what you'd like us to do with the monies you do send us. 
so we can produce the episodes you like. That's right. And if you're in the boat crew, that's also a help because you can suggest stuff to us, uh, show us other links to other other sites, other tests that people have done, and True. give us ideas that way too because yeah. you can share with us. And I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, and as far as donations go, donations don't necessarily have to be monetary. They don't have to be uh, money. Uh, you can also send us uh, gear, equipment. If you're a blacksmith or, a, or a, an armor or a shop, or you just make stuff on your own and want to have right. it tested out, let us know. We're more than happy to test it if it's something viable and it's something that will actually be a fun test or yes. historical or even fantasy. Sometimes we'll test it out for you. We'll you be want. glad we to figure and, out a way uh, to test it. We'll do it. That's right. We'll 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 even uh, give you a shout out and everything. And uh, anything you send us will probably make regular appearances in our videos. Uh, thank you once again, everyone, and uh, stay tuned for more here at YouTube channel Thane Thran. Farewell. Farewell.